Stepping into Clado, you're transported to Mexico thanks to the smells of Oaxacan food, rarely seen in New York, and it's here now thanks to one very dedicated chef, TJ Steele. How does a guy from New Jersey end up opening a Mexican restaurant and running a mezcal company in the middle of Brooklyn? I like food and adventure. Graduated culinary school and a buddy of mine decided to travel around Mexico. And when I got to Oaxaca, had one or two mezcals and decided I needed to find out a little bit more about it. A lot of other people have started this story, had a couple mezcals in Mexico. You might never have seen them again, but your story actually went somewhere really cool. Started knocking on people's doors that made mezcal. And the particular day that we showed up to this family's house, they produced mezcal three times a year, and we showed up on one of those three days. So the oldest member of the family was swearing that we were sent by God to, <laughs> to help them. And the rest is history. Now you have your own mezcal company, El Bujo. Yes. Now here I am back in the culinary side of it. And that's what's so exciting about Clado. You're bringing this Oaxacan flavor to New York. I mean, maybe it was selfish that I just wanted to eat it here, so <laughs> I made it. But I think that people were being shortchanged by not having that here. You brought a lot more than just food back from Oaxaca. You look around and you really kind of feel like you're in a Mexican cantina. One of my friends whose dad is a really famous Oaxacan artist, Francisco Toledo, he designed the tiles. And all the pottery was all made by Francisco Martinez, who's an artist friend of mine. And then you go out back, it feels like you're in a little cafe in Mexico. You see the camal and the fire. We use the same kind of wood that we use down there to make the mezcal. It's white oak, so everything that I've touched on in Oaxaca, I kind of got here. But you're also a, a classically trained chef who's worked at Union Square Cafe. So you're taking real technique, applying them to Mexican food. Keeping it what it is, but just adding a little bit of the technique to clean it up. Now you can't talk about Oaxaca without talking about masa, which is the beautiful corn dough that makes tortillas, tamales. You guys are bringing corn up from Oaxaca. We cook it in water. The next morning we come in, it goes through our grinder. From there we have masa. It's the official machine too, because you guys brought it up from a Mexican tortilla factory. Oh yeah, absolutely. Make it and use it and next day do it over again. If you're gonna talk about Oaxaca, you have to talk about mole. And you guys serve this beautiful mole rojo that is nothing like the chocolatey sweet mole poblano most New Yorkers consider mole. It's cool, it showcases a lot of different spices, fruits, nuts, all those nice toasted spices that are in there. It's really soothing, hearty, savory. This recipe came from the mother of the family that makes our mezcal. They were actually even here in New York right when we opened, giving us some tips on making it the way they like it. But she was um, more concerned with that we got a broomstick to cut to stir our corn. And like you said, authenticity, man. <laughs> we do use a spoon, though. <laughs> OK, truth comes out. Speaking of authentic dishes, you guys have a winter salad here that has a vinaigrette on it called chapulina. Chapulina also means grasshopper. Correct. So in Oaxaca, grasshoppers are a big thing. For me, the flavor is very salty, kind of like a olive or a caper. People come in and have the salad and they're like, that was so good, I don't care. Well, if you want to try one of Oaxaca's best masa snacks, it has to be memelas. Yeah, memelas are one of my favorite dishes. Let's get in the kitchen and make one. Cool, let's do it. Today we're making the chorizo mamela. We have chorizo, we have beans, we have pork fat. This all got cooked up on the grill, and now we're just gonna finish it off with what? We're gonna add a little queso fresco that we made here in house. Get messy, make it rain. More on the mamela, less on the plate. We're gonna give it a little Oaxacan style salsa verde. Look at that green. We're just gonna add a little cilantro on top. Beautiful flavor. You get the cheese first, and then that melts right away because that chorizo comes right back through rounds it out with that beautiful salsa verde, the purest corn flavor I've ever tasted in New York. Well done, my friend, well done. Thank you. Well, if you want to have your own Oaxacan food adventure, you've got to get yourself down here to Clado, hang with Chef TJ. And before you go, like we would do in Oaxaca or here at Claro, you got to have a little mezcal. Uh, now we're talking. Cheers. Cheers, salute. Ah, perfect time for a siesta. <laughs>